Oh no. If that's gonna be a good video, then I need a neck knife that is heavy, because I wanna knock someone out with a neck knife. I mean, hey, what's up everybody on YouTube? My name is Riley Napperd, and welcome back to another review video. And today, we're gonna be reviewing this necklace. Now, you're probably wondering, you know, what's on the end of this necklace, and uh, actually, you know, it's a knife. It's not a necklace, I got you. Okay, so this is the Tactical Warrior Neck Knife and Locking Sheath, and this is going to run you about $2.98, so I'm going to do a review because this is really cheap for a knife. Okay, now as you can see, the blade is right here, and it's by Bud K. They have a little symbol in there, so I guess they actually make it too, and it is a stainless steel. So if you take a look at the handle, you can see it's kind of like skeletalized, I guess you could call it. There's just holes in there, and it's just these two, two lines that you hold onto, and it's got a hole there and a hole there. So yeah, that's the design on it, and then it also has some holes on the blade to actually, I believe, just to cut down weight, which makes sense because because, you know, neck knives should be, in my opinion, they should be pretty light and pretty small because they're going to be around your neck and they're going to be swinging around. If you have a knife that's pretty heavy, it's going to like swing around and maybe, you know, you turn around quickly because someone poke you on the back and your knife just comes flying around and you accidentally like knock them out. That'd be pretty funny. That'd make a great video. If that's going to be a good video, then I need a neck knife that is heavy because I want to knock someone out with a neck knife. I mean, okay, so if you want to look at the blade, it is kind of just this metal right here that has the black coat on it and then it's got, you know, the blade part down here and it doesn't come very sharp, but you can't sharpen it very easily. Now the weird thing about the sharp blade of this knife is that it's only really sharp on one side. Now I mean like this side you can feel it I sharpened it up it's decently sharp on the other side on the back I can't feel it. it's just nothing. So it only really does get sharpened at an angle on one side. So the other side doesn't really get sharpened on the angle. It was very striking to me when I felt it up I was like when I was feeling up a knife wow. Ugh. Never thought I would say that. So basically, it's only sharp on one side, which is weird. It is a Tanto. You can see it kind of like has that cut off bit. I really dislike Tantos. That is just my opinion. You might love Tanto blades and to each their own, you know, different strokes for different folks. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the handle. So there is some jipping on the handle, kind of on the little divot and then right above the divot. Now, this jimping is not aggressive at all. And if you watch my fingers, they slide just right through it. And I'm putting down quite a bit of force and it just slides right through. So the jimping is effectively useless. Now, is this annoying? Yes. Is it a deal breaker? Maybe, maybe not. It's only $2.98 and you can get free shipping on that if you just wait a little bit. They have sales like every day. Just wait until they give you a code for free shipping and you can get this for $2.98. Also, it feels kind of awkward in the hand if you see kind of like my pinky doesn't know where to go. Does it go there? Does it go there? Because it kind of kind of gets cut off. It doesn't like fit my whole pinky. I have I have about average size hands, I would say, and I don't know, just the pinky feels awkward and it doesn't feel great in my hand. So it's not really good for me. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the sheath. So the sheath is just kind of like a pull one. You just pull it out and it can be pretty hard. So don't just expect to have it hanging there and just to pull it out because I'm gonna break the string before I actually pull it out because it's so hard. So you're gonna need two hands for sure and you're gonna have to give it quite a bit of force to actually let it release and to pull it out. Now I think that's kind of annoying. Now the sheath is definitely plasticky. It's not great. The string is it's thin. It's not good quality at all. You could put your own on there for sure. And then it also has this weird, I don't like tubular thing. I don't really know what that's for, honestly. The sheath's kind of weird, but it's it's okay, I guess it works. All right, let's talk about a little bit about comfortability. Is that a word, comfortability, like how comfortable it is? I, I don't know. I would say this knife really isn't that comfortable because it's long, you know? I like my neck knives to be kind of smaller, kind of like if you take a look at the minimalist right here, you can see kind of the difference. You know, this one's a lot bigger and this one's more compact and it's just, it's long. So for me personally, I don't really like it because it's long and it swings around and it gets everywhere and you know, if it's running around, maybe it's going to start swinging and hit you. But if you just want to get an entry level into the neck knives, I think this is a good idea just to start feeling like what a neck knife is really like having it around your neck and just having it swinging there. So this is just a good entry level. I would say this isn't really good knife for carrying around, although you may enjoy it. Okay, and that's about it I have for this knife. So if you like this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you like me or my content, go ahead and subscribe because I'll have more reviews in the future and I got some good stuff coming, maybe a flying disco ball. Ooh, cool. Interesting knife. I hope you guys have a good day.